Hello and welcome to another edition of Popping That Tin. Popping the Tin. And we have actually a tin today to pop. You're going to have to work your, yes. your salary here on this one. And uh, this one came from Germany. And as you can see, interesting, it has an extra seal. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I, I, I come up with new words every day, <laughs> especially at night. Uh, so, interesting. 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 This has a seal. <laughs> and I'm already cracking her up. And, and usually the ones from here don't have it, but this one came from Germany and I have it here because I'll forget. This was the same person who sent us the beast and his name is Greg DeFazio, right? Greg DeFazio? DeFazio, yeah. Greg DeFazio. So thank you again. He must be Italian, DeFazio. He sounds Italian, yeah. yeah. But uh, thank you again for sending us something like this. This is like different and special. It's called Fred the Frog. And uh, you can only get it in Germany. Wait. And it's from Dan Tobacco. And you're gonna pop it. So you want me to help you with the seal first? Yeah, please do. Okay, I'll take this out first and see how it goes. So um, if you guys are there in this chat, have any of you tried this uh, or any other German tobacco? What do you think? Are there you know differences that you find with German versus the ones that you can get here? Oh, there you go. I think I unsealed it. Very good. I think this is the first time I have one with. Yeah, we never tape. had that with a little seal. Okay, so. So it may take me longer. So what what you gonna use there? So that you have a special tool. Well, actually, this is. <laughs> this is what I usually use Kevin. to chop my oys my oysters. Can't even say it. So an oyster concerned. chopper. Yeah, because last time I I didn't wear a glove. Uh huh. And I'm kind of like a rock girl sometimes. And I'm like okay. I can't find my glove. I don't know where it's at. And I used it, and I really got all my skin on this oh. finger. So, but we're we're not gonna have blood with tobacco today, right? No. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be bloody. All right, we'll find out. So let's I pop mean, the thing. Just keep but, talking. Yeah, let me see because we we have a glass here. Ooh, I, I got this. Perfect. I love it. See, I have chopped enough oysters that I can get this. Oh well, that would be a good tool for you then. It's probably it. Ooh. What does it smell like? Tell me, tell me. I'm I'm very interested to know about this one. Mm. I smell like bacon. Bacon. Okay. Bacon. That made me hungry. Well, first of all, have you eaten already today? Not just yet. Not just yet. Okay. Okay. Mm. But you know, it doesn't matter. I, I know when something stinks. Okay, yeah. The, the one, one last time, that stuck. The one from last week. That okay. Ooh, that was, ooh, that was rough. But it ended yeah. up being good. Yeah, actually, yeah, it, it was. It was, you know. One of the few that we had that the room note was better than the team note. So check out our last video. Uh, and you'll see what we mean with that. Oh, this was one smells terrific. I'm gonna show it to you. It's kind of dark. It you has like a big. Show it them in there, and then we'll put it here too. So okay, that. Here we go. See there. It has some color. Yeah. It, it has, has a pretty yeah. color. Let me kind of. I can sense it has a little bit of moist there. Not we'll a see. lot. What kind of cut is this, my love? All right, so this is this is a mixed cut all over yeah, the place. Yeah, it is. I was reading over. about it. It has shag, ribbon. I think they even said that it has a little bit of a cube cut in here, which will be kind of interesting to see. Okay. Those are the little cubes like okay, that. Okay, I have a question. Uh -huh. Why would they make it with different cuts? Why? I don't know. Is I don't there... know. Sometimes it's the way they process it, and in, in this case, I don't know. However they process it, they just happen to cut it in different cuts, I have wow. no idea. They have psycho cutting yeah. this up. No, because, yes. you know, sometimes, you know, they do a specific with a purpose, where uh -huh. they do the blocks. Remember, That's what I'm saying. Remember when we went to the factory? Yeah. And they had the blocks, and they were going to do that one kind of in, in little square mm -hmm. cakes or plugs, whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will have to ask the damn tobacco why well, they did, chose did, to. Did you, like, did you like the smell? I like the smell. It smells really good. It smells like bacon but a little bit almost to the top yeah. almost burnt yeah i there's a specific smell in the reason i, I love that i smell it is because this is something i like and it's and if i tell you it's kind of cheating because you're gonna smell it but it's it's licorice yeah smell it and, and anything he, that is sweet he you know how it. i love licorice he does yeah. he eats them by the bags yeah i usually buy candy to go to the movies so they I mean, come on now. They're, it's too expensive. I love licorice. 
And it never makes it. And I like. I do buy the same. Day. I like the strong the one. Day. I like the black licorice. I like the I, red licorice. I get the berries. Yeah, exactly. I I get them. It doesn't matter. I just like it. It to me doesn't smell at all. Yeah. Like licorice. So what does it smell like to you? Well, there's a sweetness in there for sure. Oh man, yeah. Like this part right here. Now there's like also like a very racing smell to it. Yes. Uh, which. Yeah, so that's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling raisin and licorice, and you're smelling kind of a sweet, just sweet. Like yeah, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Maybe if you put like a little well, bit lacon of is brown probably, sugar. Lacon is probably <laughs> the, the Latakia, I'm guessing. Ah, yeah. All right. All right. So read us what you got. All there. right. I'm gonna try to do that. And the moisture we said, I'm gonna say. Just a little bit. Slightly. Yeah, just, just a slightly. Yeah. But it's yeah, slight. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I'll pack. Ripe Virginia, Perique, and Black Cavendish with a decent English touch in the background. Our process to cubes, ready rubbed and loose cut and then are combined. A delicate sweet licorice casing is added to make it for a mild, full body smoking experience. Mm -hmm. As lovers of natural pipe blends like it. So maybe, you know, this will kind of have that smell of that old codger kind of, I mean, I think that's the one I'm getting from what they're saying there. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. He has Latakia, he has Perique, he, he has a good mixture of things. Mm -hmm. That might be interesting to find out. It's a mixture of things and a mixture of, of cups. cups. And, and for, I mean, some people don't like this, but it does have some of the long kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, long ones, yes. Even, even like this one almost looks like like a flake. So I'm when I when I mean mix, I mean this is like when we mean, when it's, he it's means mix, mix, it is mix. <laughs> it's a, it has a little bit of chunks, see like teeny tiny, and then it has something like this. Yeah. Since this like Fred that. Fred the Frog, I'm I'm using my green uh, Noel pipe from Chacom. Which, you know, again, if you go back to one of the videos I did, this was my friend's pipe. And this is the place I wanted to go that we couldn't make it to this to oh, this place. I that, you know what? Because look at this. I did it on purpose so we have to go back. Look at this box. I mean, they, this is this is like probably one of the nicest box I ever had for a pipe. Um, I, I like Chacom. I, I do. You and do. then I, I got a green one for you too. I know you like to match and stuff. So I got you a six millimeter. Savinelli 320. That's a little green in there. And just then like my outfit. for me, this is actually a nine millimeter filter. So we both have filters in, in our pipes today. Awesome. So, all right. Well, you I'm know, gonna, I like my filter. Well, I'm going to light this up so you tell me about the room note. I'm cutting mine a little smaller. Okay. And guys, I'm going to tell you, that last video, what was the name of the um, tobacco we did last time? The Beast. The Beast. I'm telling you, I had it all over my hair. No, well, that wasn't what you had over here. It was the cigar. It was the cigar? Yeah, the cigar that we did. Well, pardon me. Yeah. It, well, that cigar that we had last time, <laughs> I smelled like I just came out of the bar. <laughs> If my hair smelled like that, my clothing smelled like that. I was like, whoa, that was kind of rough. Yeah, that usually doesn't happen with the pipes. never with pipes. No, Not it was, at it was all. the cigar. And you told me right away, that's why I remember. Yeah. You said, oh my God, that cigar. Yeah, I washed my hair. I said, I have to wash my hair. That's, I cannot do that all night long smelling like that. But it was good. It was one of the ones you like. So, yeah. I do. I so, I can that. tell because of the moisture. It's getting a little harder to just light.
flavor she's gonna give it it's like it's not that it's not yeah. very it's not super strong mm -hmm. it's very that's mild the smell is not bad i, I would say inside or outside i think it's gonna be one of your, those old pipe you know smells like i said the, the old cauldron kind of smells i'm gonna i'm gonna use my lighter smash sure for the ones that didn't see it last the time the ones that you didn't see last time isn't that cute that is the cutest thing see oh wait a if only I could learn how to turn it on. It works pretty cool though. It does. Because it gives good give you good distance. It does. Yeah, so I am tasting the perique. Not tasting the larakia. I'm tasting something like the Virginias. Did he have Virginias? Hmm. I believe so. Put on my glasses and see. Oh yeah, right, Virginia. And right, Virginia. Yeah. So that's what I'm tasting most. Right. Oh, it the went front, out quick. It went out quick. In the front, I'm getting Virginia and I'm getting Perique. Not getting anything else. And the licorice, unfortunately. I'm Perique because, combined with something else to yeah. me, it's never and been And we have around. learned, and uh, for you guys that don't know this, you know, the less, I know the experienced guys know this, but the less experienced guys, we we uh, we did a video where we tried everything pure, like, you know, just Burley with nothing else, Perique with nothing else, and Perique was fine by itself. Through, you know, through doing some of these reviews and through talking with the people that know about this stuff, we know, especially Jeremy Reeves has explained it many times, that just smoking perique like that, you don't get all, all, all that spiciness. It's when you mix it with other things, it brings out that kind of, you know, spicy thing. Yeah. So sometimes, like the last one that we did with the Beast, uh, even though it's 51% perique, we didn't get that much of the spiciness, remember? Mm -hmm. But this one, because of the mixture, we're getting a lot more of the perique. It, it, what I'm saying is that some of the mixture helped the perique come out way more. And some people like that, that's what they want. And some mixtures tone it down some more. Um, so I think this one, from what I'm tasting so far, is really bringing out the perique. For the people that like perique, because I can taste it yeah. like a lot. Where, last week, the one with 51% perique, I did it, and it was kind of, I don't know, it was balanced and it was it was pleasant. It's something about the combination they mm. use that yeah. Yeah. just really make it... Makes it out there. Too strong. It's, it's really in the forefront. So for Perique lovers, sign, you know, put this one in your list because you're going to like it. it. It reminds me of Windjammer. That's how much, mm -hmm. you know, this thing reminds me of that strong Windjammer. I can taste it. It's in my palate. Yeah, and you're not a you, you're not much of a freak person. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I'm starting to get some of the other tastes in there, but definitely you have to get past the perique first, because it just gets you right away. Boom. I think that we have like two different perspectives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I am more of a softer, sweeter, mm -hmm. uh, more puppery, puppery, set of, pop, 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 <laughs> set of uh, taste and whatever, and, mm -hmm. and you and you can take more than I can. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have two different opinions, completely well, okay. different opinions, which is a good thing mm -hmm. because the people that agree with me, 
you know, be like, okay, I'm gonna get what she she likes because mm -hmm. that's kind of my palate. Or if they don't like for it, just say yeah, avoid it, avoid the stuff she doesn't like for yeah, sure. Yeah, avoid it. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is one of those that smells so great. But then in, it's from the can, on the tongue. And then when you kind of try to smoke it, it's not to me. It's not one of those soft, mm -hmm. enjoyable. Smells great. Tastes great. You know, it doesn't. Check all. It doesn't hit all my check marks. Is what it so is. So just don't check your boxes. It doesn't check my boxes. <laughs> Not every single one. <laughs> you check my boxes. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna give it a little bit more here just to see what happens at the second half of the bowl. All right. Oh, well, this light is out. Well, another I can. One. Tell me, I can help you. I got it. <laughs> All right. Let me um, see. Sometimes you know the pipe makes a difference. True. Just sip this one, but lightly. Don't take a big puff and see if you notice a difference with that. Yeah, soft tone. Soft tone. Oh, it's green too. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked some green ones so to go with the with Fred the Frog. You look good. You see that one looks good with that green. I'm looking at you there and the. It is smoother on this one. Yeah, yeah, and then sometimes that's the case. So go ahead, and and it might be again. Do you remember how the cigar we did that? You know that first third, that second third. Well, with with the pipe is also the same. Sometimes as you go down the bowl, it changes a little bit. Not all of them have that, but I think this one is is uh, complex enough that some of you guys are gonna have to give it a chance and see uh, see if you like it. Again, if you don't like Perique, you know, I don't think you, you're going to enjoy this. With this one, I have a very little bit of the per I'm changing my... Give, did, me, give did, me another minute. I did some magic there. Sometimes that's what happens. You get something at the beginning, and then you get something different in the middle, and then you get something different way at the end. So this is a good example of, of, of a blend that's complex enough that you're gonna get a few different things. Yeah, absolutely. It's did, like you have, did that surprise you? Have, yes, I have different gradings. <laughs> Like in the beginning it has one grading, in the middle it has another grading, almost at the end it has something else. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just to have to get through the rough part. Yeah, yeah. Through the roughness and then And again, sudden. the other thing is all these cuts oh. that are all over the place. So, I, you know, you wonder if when you grab it, you know, you, you grab... Um, more of something. More of something. Yeah. Than something else. Yeah, exactly. You're right. It's because all, it's, it's very, all over the place. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> not more this or that. It's just like 25% of something, 50% of something, 15% of I don't know. So a good lesson learned, especially for you beginners. Sometimes, hey, and the way you pack it, and sometimes if you, for some reason, happen to put all the darker leaves. You I know, think I put all the perico on mine. <laughs> just go by with the Virginia. But this was good about doing this live. You know, we get to experience some of this stuff that, um, you know. I uh, was very del did. You, did you taste something different when you got this one? Yes, actually. Isn't I, it like it's stronger on this one, and then on this one is really yeah. But as I'm going down of it, the, the taste it's is changing. Better. It's changing. Uh -huh. You know. And again, I'm puffing it very slow. I don't. I just. I don't want to get it like. Maybe I was puffing it hard. Yeah, just kind of sipping it, and it, it, is, it is not bad. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of, of, of pecan, you know, a little bit of, of, of spice, yeah. As long as it doesn't, you know, burn the roof of my mouth. Fred the Frog. Fred the Frog is, sm is smoking his own pipe right there. That it is looks, a cool. It looks cool. Put it in there so they can see so, it, I mean. Can you see him smoking that pipe right there? Probably closer. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's funny. I'm excited. Thank you again, uh, Greg, for giving us something from Germany. Oh. 
I'm having a hard time actually with yours. Yeah. In terms of um, keeping it lit. Keeping it lit, and then then yeah. and then this is what happens because you want to keep it lit. You try to puff harder on it. And exactly, and then you mm. get a yeah. rougher yeah. Sm- a rougher smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with yours, I was very shocked of what the difference made from that one to this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the packing also. The packing, the pipe. The, the inhale, you know. Like Retrohale, you the, mean? No, no, when you're trying to, you know, get it in there. You're you know, not supposed to get it. If you're doing it too, too strong. You're not, not in, you're not inhaling it, right? I'm no, not, the, I'm not. You mean like when you're like puffing it, like? Yeah, when you're puffing it. Okay. it if you if you puff it too hard, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm going to go back to mine. Yeah, see? <laughs> it is definitely, on that pipe, it tastes so much better. It went down. Sorry. You I know, the, there's there's a, there's a long long time believers that some pipes like some blends better than others, and they use specific blends with the specific pipes, and they just keep them with that pipe because he just. I think that, that I pipe. think that with this you should we should do that one. <laughs> this one is, is the winner. The one one the uh, mine is not the yeah it's not. Yeah, it just goes right away and. I, I, I could have packed it a little bit better than what you packed that one. Yours looks kind of tight. <laughs> I shoved it in there like. <laughs> you chucked it with the with the with the shell chucker thing, clam no, clam chucker. It's good though. Mm. I'm good at doing that. Actually, you did very. That's probably one of the best ones that you opened. So that's a good tool. It is. That's a good tool for you, yeah. Although I was a little concerned. I was like, oh my god, I remember. That one that Tunnel Tech gave us, which now I, I can't find in the boxes because we haven't opened all the boxes. That one was good too. You were, you were yes, very good with that one. Yes, yes, it was. We have still, after we move, we still have storage with stuff. and There's some things we cannot find. Until we move to a house, it's probably going to be missing in action. All right, for you ready for a verdict or do you want to give it another puff? I want, you know what, I want, I want to. Oh, that thing just pulled my hairs. Why? That thing, I don't know why, it just, it just pulled them. I, it did, that thing, that bracelet just janked my hairs out. Wake up call. All right, so very complex uh, mixture. If you guys haven't tried it and you like something different, you know, and you you can access German blends. I mean, I'm sure some of the viewers here are not from the United States, so this is something that you can probably get. Um, so that you know, we're reviewing something that maybe someone else can finally get versus the stuff that we review that you can't get out there. So this might be a good. We thing. smoke anything. Send it our way. <laughs> so light it up. We you, stay lit. You ready for the beer? I am. All right. One, two, three. Oh, you have a thumbs up. You yeah. changed your mind. Okay. I did. I changed my mind when I tried it with yours. Yeah. For it's... some reason, it was softer. Yeah. And it was better. And it's enjoyable. It, yeah. it, it has. Now, you know, I don't think the smell is going to be a people pleaser. So I think it's just kind of run. It's run okay. The it's, it's in the middle. It's, it's not, not a steak bomb. And no. it's not one of those that people are going to say, <gasps> no, oh, it's, it's not a so potpourri, good. delicious. Yeah. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. No. Don't expect it to be because it's not. All right, who wants to go with the stars first? Go ahead, because that's the thing I win. All right, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a three point two. I uh, we'll go go as far as go all the way to five because I think it you know, takes some some time. I think this is a a good one for an experienced smoker that can be patient with it to get the real, real, real uh, nuances of it. If you are a newbie and you go right to it and maybe just puff 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 you might just get a bunch of you know perique or or you just might get too hot and you may not enjoy it you as may much, get yeah. discouraged from so i'm gonna give it a 3.2 it does have a lot of potential maybe this is one that when you smoke it the third time the fourth time you might enjoy it better when you jar it like we're gonna do maybe you know it tastes better later on but uh but it's good is it it is it's actually it surprised me how it changed from the beginning where I was about to say wow until now that is actually enjoyable how about you I'm gonna give it a 3.0 3.0 okay I think that 
it changed my mind when I started smoking it from years, but you have smoked it for a while mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before I got it. So it, it, I, I struggled at the very beginning with this one, mm -hmm. with the pipe. Mm -hmm. So I'm not 100% sure if I just can, if it's the pipe or if it was the packing or whatever it was. But even though... Or what you put in there. Or what I put, it, or what I put in there because mm -hmm. it was so inconsistent mm -hmm. um, that... And it was, I broke it. I had to break it completely to make sure it will fit in. Um, not 100% crazy about it, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's, but it's a, a little bit strong. It depends how, where or which pipe you use with it, how you uh, fill your pipe, and how patient you are with it, um, and what your tolerance for the breed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. combined with something else but to me I found it a little bit strong yeah I yeah. think people the people that say they like papers Virginia Perique this is something you might like it started as strong as a wind jammer but it then did. it toned it down did. yeah it, ha it has like three different levels <laughs> crazy not too crazy <laughs> I can tolerate but then <laughs> it toned it. down yeah it toned down yeah so thank you Greg for sending us frog uh, Fred the Frog and having us experience this tobacco that we yes. could only get in Germany is again wow. by Dan Tobacco and uh, We got another review there. This is this is good. So this is gonna be a after our trip This is the third week in a row and like we said, we're trying to get him out on uh, 2 30 on, on Tuesdays Eastern time for the pipe stuff and on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. for the cigar stuff That's what I got how about you? Do you have anything else to tell him? I don't have much, but I want to thank him for sending us this. Uh, we enjoy trying different things. So whatever you send us, are we like I said, we save it. We just light it up and try it. Save it. We always save it. Uh, if you like our content, please give us some stuff. Subscribe if you uh, if you enjoy it, and and would love to be our friends. Thank you so much for our loyal friends that stay with us, and we see them every week. Thank you so very much for being here with us. Uh, other than that, I just want to tell you to stay lit, as we do, and we will see you next time. See you then. Bye. Bye.